Yeah. Ooh, I'm eyes, I'm not so afraid to let go. Uh, you decide if you're ever gonna let me know. Yeah. So what is up, guys? Sister K here. If you can tell, I'm a little sick, but let's get on with this video. You guys really liked the last time I did this, so let's try it again. So manga time capsule two right here. It's a lot of shit in here, so let's go ahead and get into it. Starting off, this is a neat one. We have a, a series by a creator who was at Anime Expo in like 2016. I don't know if he's still doing this series, but um, he was an independent guy trying to make it on his own in the manga industry. I uh, never actually got to reading all of these. There's four, I think, of the first three right here. But I wanted to support him because I thought it was super cool, super inspiring that he was doing it on his own. You know, took the plunge and, you know, decided to support it in every, whatever way I could. And I was able to do it by buying it. I actually wrote it. Yeah, 2016. It's really cool, really cool guy. I hope everything worked out for him. One of my favorite series, Shonen series, in the last couple of years has been Food Wars. Love the series, the heart is amazing. The foodgasms. Um, I'm gonna start reading the series again, maybe in a year or so, simply because um, I don't like the current state it's at right now. Just because I believe Food Wars is a series that they really need to finish it. I don't think it's a series that can be ongoing, like uh, Naruto, One Piece, anything of the sort. I think this is a series that has to limit itself to around 300-ish chapters simply because it's just losing uh, what made it special in a way. Like, I felt like there was there was an end in sight with Food Wars and the power creep and the power curve is just becoming a bad in my opinion where I just think they need to wrap it up. They, they told a great story. They introduced us to a lot of great characters. And I think it's time to move on. But that is just me. My personal opinion. I, I love endings. I love things that come to conclusion. And this is a series that I feel needs a conclusion. It needs to be wrapped up. Because not everything can be a one piece. Not everything can be Naruto that goes for 800 chapters. Things need to end. In order to really, really you know, be satisfied. Your Line April, one of my favorite series of all time. This is one of the few anime that's actually made me cry. Volume two right there. Let's see if we can find some more. Volume one. Great series, I highly recommend it. Very thick volumes by Kodansha, I believe. Kodansha Comics. Then we have a seven, not seven deadly sins. Yamada Kun and the Seven Witches. A very fun series that I will be reading. We'll put this aside because I enjoyed the series a lot, actually. It's one of those series that always uh, comes to mind when I'm like, man, I, w I need to pick something back up. Ultraman Volumes 1 and 2. Never really read these ser this series. I can't really say much about it other than the art's pretty good, I believe. I think I read the first one. And it really didn't capture me. Yeah, it's pretty good. There we go. Oh, I have three and four over here, so I have a, I have a good amount of Ultraman. Maybe I should give it a shot. I have enough volumes to do so. Probably check it out. Inu Yashiki. I do love this series from the creator of Gaunts. Very great series. Volumes one, two, and three. Really nice. And the, they look like this signatures, but they're actually just Kodansha long editions. I don't know what, the, what editions these are, but they're not the typical Kodansha series. Show you guys some of the art. It's from Gaunt, so the art's really good. Really, really fucking good. But it's really grotesque and, and very mature. So I also have four and five over here. I think that's up to them. It's supposed to be seen like this. I really like the series. Really captures the contrast, juxtaposition of the two main characters and 
just how different they can be, not only in the fact that one's an 80 year old man, not 80, I think he's like 54 or something like that, and the other one is a young, a young gun. Haiku, one of my favorite sports manga ever. This goes to show you that manga and anime can really make anything awesome. Yolomashi Pedal, it's about cycling and they still manage to make it epic just because it always just comes down to characters and their conflict and and that in itself can make a character. When you see a character shine and you see him go against opposition and come out on top, usually it's struggling. Usually they lose in the beginning and then they come back as the underdog and they win. Look at that art right there. Just amazing. Love this series. I am not caught up with it and we'll probably do so in the future. So, I think we just grab a bunch of Terraform Mars. Which is one of my favorite series of all time. This is right here. Just great abilities, very different, very distinct character designs, very distinct character abilities, and insane fights that make you want more. Oh, this is volume 18. It is, I believe, on hiatus, and I think I'm only a couple of volumes behind. I think they're only on volume like 21 or something. So I need to catch up to that. Expect me buying some of those in the future. 11, 12, and 13. Every single character here that is a main character gets at least one or two really good fights. Where it's really awesome in the sense where like in Naruto, if your favorite character isn't Naruto or Sasuke, like good luck seeing them do anything cool. In this series, it's like no matter who you like, they're gonna be doing something sick. That character is fucking awesome. And the arc legit lasts like 17 volumes or like 16 volumes when they aren't actually Mars. Really dope stuff there. Yamada Kun, volume 7. Very fun slice of life series with the power element that's really cool. Leads to some very funny scenarios, situations. Noragami, volume 1 and volume. Uh, 12. Never got into the series. People always told me to get into it. Never did. One of the food wars right here, volume 12. It was one of the best uh, arcs in the manga right there. Them, the trio, when they were the top dogs. I don't know exactly how powerful they are now. 14. I think this is my favorite volume in the series. 13. This is where he comes back from after his training arc, I believe. Is it right here at the end? I'm not too sure, but... Yeah. Pretty cool stuff. It's dope. Great series. If you love history, Drifters, volumes 1, 2, and 3. Amazing series from the creator of Helsing, I believe. I believe so. Yeah, that has to be Helsing. That is Helsing art right there. Fourteen of Noragami. Again. Never got into it. Really love these matte finishes. Really nice. Just never got into it. And volume 2 of the series from that guy again. I think he signed all of them. Or maybe just the first one. Well, he signed it. Boom. Volume 5. 7. Six, seven. And eight of Terraform Mars. Again, love this series. Three, 
four, and five. Oh, you just dropped everything right there. Let's just show you guys a big pile of Yamada, the seven. Oh, and your line eight bubble in there. The seven witches right there. Volume well, one of your late April again. I have to give an extra volume. So I'm going to give that a little bit at some point. Uh, I don't really like these releases of Yo Mashi Pedal. Would have wished they would have just been a regular. But Yen Press did this, and they're really fucking expensive. I think they're retail in the back for $24, which is insane. I believe these are just two in ones, not even three in ones. And I just don't like this release, this format. I would have loved them to pay respect to the greatness that is Yo Mashi Pedal. But they didn't. Disgraced it. And for that, I will not pick up the rest. Tokyo Ghoul. Very good series. Uh, a lot of people, this is their favorite series of all time. Personally, I think it's a good series. I don't rank it up there in my top 10 anywhere close to that. I just don't. Personal preferences. I think it's pretty good. I don't think it's amazing. I thought the beginning was really good. One. The art's really good. Two. Nine. Ten. I will catch up because I am only like four volumes away from completing the original Tokyo Ghoul run. And I would like to do that. I'm so close. One volume ten. Four and five right there. So show a little bit of art. Show what I'm talking about. Very good art. Very, very good fucking art. Right there. Very good series. I just don't think it's like top five worthy, but it, it is really good. Not gonna lie. Black Lagoon, never read it. People say it's really good. Never read it. One and two. Terraform Mars. See what we have here. This is all your line April right here. I think I have almost a complete series. I think I'm probably missing like one volume. If you wanna cry, you need to check that series out. Fucking love the series. But I'd recommend the anime more because you can't listen to the music in this and the music has a lot to do with it. While it was a lot shorter than the first one. So yeah, that was everything guys. Hope you guys liked the unboxing. Hope you guys like me talking about everything. Take care.